Trinity B1 ISC1 Four Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas Are you ready? That's fine. Yeah. This is Trinity College London ISC1. My name's Angelina. I'm your interlocutor for your speaking and listening test. What's your full name? My full name is Munir Ur Rahman Tanzil. Okay. What's your topic's title for today? Hobbies. What are your four topic points? Going in, playing cricket, watching TV, and going out with family. Going gym, going to cricket. the gym. Okay, going to the gym. Hmm. Yeah, going to the gym, playing cricket, uh, going out with family, and watching TV. Playing cricket, going to the gym, watching TV, going out with family. Once again, let me start okay. over. This is Trinity College London ISC one. My name is Angelina. What's your full name? My name is Munir Rahman Tanzil. Okay, what's your topic's title? My hobbies. What are your four topic points? Going to the gym, playing cricket, going out with family, and watching TV. How often do you play cricket? Uh, I play like weekly. It depends in the summer. I play every day. Like so, usually we play in the weekends and in the winter. So we play like an, an, every alternative day. Okay, and how long it's been you're playing cricket? I uh, when since I was thirteen, so it's been that seventeen years, more than seventeen years I'm playing cricket. What do you enjoy about playing cricket? I because I'm very passionate about it, and I like to bowl and bat, so that's I enjoy more playing cricket. Could you please tell me? On what days of the week do you like to go to the gym? Uh, I would like to go to the gym for like in seven days. I would like to go four days. So I won't go as uh, weekends. I, I love to go on Monday to Friday or Thursday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. How much time do you spend there? So it depends according to my schedule. Sometimes I will spend 30 minutes. Sometimes I need to do more work also than I spend one hour. Mm. Okay. Tell me about an exercise that you do regularly. Uh, I will do core exercises and CrossFit trainings and cardio workout. Mm. What do you like to watch on TV? I want to like the football match and I would like to highlights of cricket or live cricket. Cricket. Yeah. Hmm. At what time of the day do you like to watch TV? Because I my work schedule when I finish four o'clock, so I just turn on my TV and see the all the highlighted of any matches. Hmm. Okay. All right. Where do you watch TV? At my home. What do you do when you go out with your family? So it depends. Uh, Sometimes we go for the shopping. Sometimes we go for having dinner outside or lunch. So sometime break for us. Sometimes we went for outside for have like shopping for grocery or home items. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Do you think it is important to spend time with family? It, it is very, very important because uh, family is your part of your life and you need to give more time, more than work because nowadays everyone is busy with the jobs and inflation is too high. So mm. I spare one day for my family to spend with my wife whole day. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. This is the end of the discussion round. Now, the conversation. The topic of conversation that I've picked for you is weather. Could you tell me what's yes. your favorite weather? 
my favorite favorite weather is like sunny. When it's when it's sunny, so I like I would like more. Hmm. What kind of clothes do you like to wear in sunny weather? Uh, I want I I want to wear a flexible clothes like trousers and shirts. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. okay. And uh, what kind of food people like to eat in your country in hot weather? Oh, like you would usually in the hot water, they will drink more and we'd like to same as compared to winter and summer. We like food almost same. We can eat everything in summer and winter. But it is it is different. We can add the drinks more like cold drinks or in drinking we will have a different options. But in the food, it's similar to the winter and summer. Mm. Okay, all right. And what's the weather like in your country? It's usually eight to nine months is hot, and of two to three months, it would be like winter. It's cold. Okay. All right. Yeah. And uh, do you like to watch news about weather? Uh, really not much. When I, I am, to be honest, when I'm playing cricket, so I will watch the news and I want to do, I want to update myself according to the weather. So it is like in the season when it is, cricket is going on, so it's between April till September. So I usually check every week uh, mm -hmm. weather forecast. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is the end of your speaking test. But before we end, I would want you to ask me two questions about weather. So which weather is your favorite? I like sunny weather. So, so which food do you like in sunny weather? Fresh fruits and vegetables. Thank you. This is the end of the test and you have passed successfully i'm sure you will get a distinction in your speaking test congratulations now let's quickly Thank move you. to a listening test would yeah. you like to practice have you ever heard a recording about mangoes squirrels emus cheese rolling festival charles dickens basketball Burlington arcade crane flies dolphins or Henri matisse which one dolphins I don't think so. I don't hear that. I'm going to play a recording about dolphins. I'll play the recording twice. You have to listen to the recording and then answer six questions about the recording. ISC 1, task 1. Dolphins are very intelligent animals. They mostly live in the sea, although some live in rivers. They can stay under the water for 15 minutes before coming to the surface to breathe. Dolphins are very social animals. They live in groups and play with each other. Each dolphin has its own special sound so that other dolphins can recognize it. When a baby dolphin is born, its mother takes it to the surface of the water immediately for its first breath. Young dolphins stay with their mothers for at least three years. Adult dolphins can live for up to 60 years. They can jump as high as six meters out of the water and are so intelligent that humans can teach them to do tricks. Now listen again. Dolphins are very intelligent animals. They mostly live in the sea although some live in rivers. They can stay under the water for 15 minutes before coming to the surface to breathe. Dolphins are very social animals. They live in groups and play with each other. Each dolphin has its own special sound so that other dolphins can recognize it. When a baby dolphin is born, its mother takes it to the surface of the water immediately for its first breath. Young dolphins stay with their mothers for at least three years. Adult dolphins can live for up to 60 years. 
they can jump as high as six meters out of the water and are so intelligent that humans can teach them to do tricks. Now I'm going to ask you some questions about dolphins. Yeah. Could you please tell me where do dolphins live apart from the sea? Rivers. And how long can dolphins stay under the water for? 15 minutes. How do dolphins recognize each other? They have a different speaking strength, like abilities. Special sound, a special sound. Yeah. Okay, and, uh, 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 and, and, and could you please tell me, where does the mother take the baby when it's born? Under the water to have a first breath. No, not under the water, sir. Out the of, the water. of the water. Actually, to the surface of the water. Yeah, surface of the water. For how long do young dolphins stay with their mothers? Three years. That is correct. And how high can dolphins jump? It's six meters out of the water. That is very correct. Congratulations. You have passed your this part of the test with three correct answers. Rather four, you okay. gave me one, two, one, two, four correct answers. You only need three to pass, but you've already given me four answers. Okay, now I'll share the screen with you again. You can tell me uh, from the part two, which one you have never heard before. Is it Shakespeare, the first color film, Cooper Petty, or... Um, I think Gary... you would talk from the... Gary Kasparov, An Unusual Job, Bhutan, which one? Uh, unu unusual Job, I don't think so, and Bhutan as well, both of our done. Yeah. Okay, so I will be playing a recording about An Unusual Job. You're not allowed to take any notes. You will just listen to the recording and tell me in few words, what is this recording about? Few words means just one to two sentences. There's no need to tell more. Just in few words, the main idea. Let's listen. ISC 1, Task 2. Today, we're going to talk about the job of driving a truck. Only 10% of Britain's truck drivers are women. Maybe this isn't surprising. Transport companies want to employ more women as they don't have enough drivers. So what is it like for a woman truck driver on the road? Let me tell you about Mary Jones. Mary is 22 years old and she was a hairdresser. But now she delivers food to supermarkets. She sometimes works for up to 14 hours a day. I think so. Are you... Yeah, uh, no, no, because I watched your video, so you... I think so you played this video, uh, audio in your video as well. So which one you have not listened, then I can play that one, Bhutan? Uh, bottom one, yeah, Bhutan then, please. ISC 1, Task 2. Today we're going to learn about a country called Bhutan. Only about 800,000 people live in Bhutan, but amazingly, those people speak 24 different languages. What about the environment? About 72% of the country is forest. The government has made a lot of laws to protect animals. The people in Bhutan are not allowed to use plastic bags. Many of the cars in the country are electric. There's an unusual thing about the capital of Bhutan it doesn't have any traffic lights. Instead, policemen show drivers when to stop. These policemen have to wear special white gloves to do this. What about the people? If you go to Bhutan, you can see people wearing traditional dress. And here's another interesting thing. Every year, the government asks the people about their happiness. This is because they think happiness is more important than money. So, 
Do you want to visit Bhutan? Yes, could you tell me in few words what is this recording about? So it is about the country Bhutan and about the people and their culture. Thank you. Now listen again and write down six important six important facts from the recording. You are allowed to take notes this time. Thank you. Today we're going to learn about a country called Bhutan. Only about 800,000 people live in Bhutan, but amazingly, those people speak 24 different languages. What about the environment? About 72% of the country is forest. The government has made a lot of laws to protect animals. The people in Bhutan are not allowed to use plastic bags. Many of the cars in the country are electric. There's an unusual thing about the capital of Bhutan. It doesn't have any traffic lights. Instead, policemen show drivers when to stop. These policemen have to wear special white gloves to do this. What about the people? If you go to Bhutan, you can see people wearing traditional dress. And here's another interesting thing. Every year, the government asks the people about their happiness. This is because they think happiness is more important than money. So, do you want to visit Bhutan? All right, could you please tell me six facts from the recording? So, in, in this country, is people, uh, the population of this country is 800,000 people. They speak 24 different languages. And this country of Bhutan has uh, 72 percent forest. Uh, the plastic bags are banned in Bhutan and they use electric car. They have no traffic lights and police wear white gloves to stop them for every year. Uh, the government uh, asked them about their happiness. All right, thank you. How many people live in Bhutan? Uh, 80,000. Uh, 80, 800,000. Oh, 800, How 000. much of Bhutan is forest? 72%. That is correct. And could you please tell me, what can you see people wearing in Bhutan? No, I don't know. Traditional dress. Traditional dress. What is an unusual about the capital of Bhutan? They have no traffic lights. Okay. And what has the government done to protect animals? They ban the plastic bags. No, for animals. They have made laws to protect animals. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. You have passed your speaking and listening, I'm sure. Listening, if you will get correct answers, then listening will be merit. You never know. You might get okay. a distinction as well. Speaking would definitely be, uh, you know, above merit. I hope so. Thank you. I'm going to share your reading, multi-text reading and writing task with you on WhatsApp. It will be like in different sections, right? So okay. Let me Thank share. you so much. Yes. And then you once you'll be done, you, you can text me. The teacher, I'm done. Check my work. Thank you. Okay, I will. Okay, thank you so much for your time. No worries. No worries. See you. Thank you, ma'am.